All right. Well, welcome, y'all. Hey, Joel. Hey. Good to see you. Good to be seen. Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> glad you guys are happy and alive. Um, and for those who are joining either the replay or on Facebook, welcome to you as well. Uh, we're going to have a fun conversation, I think. <laughs> with all of us who are on, we are going to like share all the good stuff of whatever we want to share. Sounds good. <laughs> Let me get to the slides and just know. Um, so we have everyone that's on uses essential oils have been using them. I'm thinking for a little bit. And so we will impart our wisdom. And if anything comes up like, Hey, new discovery, I've been doing this, or I've tried this. I know that Elise had posted in there in our Wellness Collective Facebook group, a reel from Emily and Dr. O about a study that came out from Washington, like Washington University, some university. Mm -hmm. about, I guess they had studied all essential oils that were on the market. And so you might want to go watch that reel. It's very interesting how none of them had compared to doTERRA. And they had, again, come, I mean, we talked about the Roseman study. But this is just another um, university research that's come out. So I just find it fascinating. Okay. So anyway, well, and I just got a, a, a email from somebody who follows me, watches my videos on YouTube, and she was asking about organic. And so we'll talk a little bit about that to um, kind of dispel some of the myths about organic essential oils and other products. But as we get going, let me share a slide. I'm going to share a screen. There we go. So Natural Solutions Workshop. I I love teaching about this. Been using oils and more natural products for the past 14 years now. And I know Faye and Joel, I think most of your life now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, more herbs. But herbs. Yeah. But it's still like more natural, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. More herbs. More herbs. So and you came along. Well, I came along and brought in some other things just to complement like some of your great knowledge and expert experience. And I know we have Debbie on here who is a, a marriage and family therapist. Family that what is this? You can't I always ask. <laughs> yeah, it's it's licensed marriage and family therapist. There you go. Official title. Right. Um are you able to prescribe medications? Is that part of your thing? You no, know? no, a few psychologists can do that, but that's a PhD. This is a master's okay. level. Okay. So no, and I wouldn't want it anyway. <laughs> I prescribe essential oils. <laughs> yeah, I don't prescribe something, some lifestyle shifts that might help. So as we go along, and if you're watching the replay and it's in the Facebook group and you have any questions, please make sure that you put it in the comments. We love to answer those, get you connected to resources that are helpful. Um, and it's often helpful to be thinking about what, like where you're at right now with your health, and if there's anything on that list of things that you're dealing with, or maybe somebody in your household is dealing with, and just kind of keep that in mind as far as are there solutions for those things. And sometimes we go like this, right? <laughs> like I'm healthy, healthy, healthy. And then we have a car accident or we break something mm -hmm. or we get sick, you know, like things come up that maybe I don't need anything here, but also just having tools on hand to be prepared um, when things come up because life does happen for sure. Um, and so for those who are on, I don't know, Janice, if there's anything top of mind for you, um, Terry's hopping on and I don't know if there's anyone on live right now or Facebook. Uh, one person. Okay. Well, I feel this banish that if something comes yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can pop those either in the chat or unmute or if anything comes up, great. So I know for me right now, um, I've been having this pain in my knees and I think it's my ligament right up your leg. I think it's my, sorry. Um, is it the, anyway, so deep blue has been my friend for this. <laughs> and we'll talk about deep blue if you're not familiar with that, but different things come up. Um, welcome Terry, welcome M and D Rhodes. Um, are you from Duchesne? Person, you're on mute. I 
just wonder if I know you. Anyway, so be thinking about these things that are coming up in your life. Um, and I am starting to advocate for this 10 year plan. <laughs> like, where are you going to be in 10 years? physically, emotionally, health-wise, where would you like to be thinking at that age? So if you're 30, think about 40, where do you want to be? What are some of the things you might be dealing with if you are older, right? Like where are you going to be and where do you want to be with that? Oh, who's on? Introduce yourself. Um, sorry, if you're able to unmute, I'm going to call you Mrs. Rose. <laughs> Sorry, you're muted if you touch your screen and unmute. Um, there should be, an, uh, okay, maybe it's not connected. Anyway, you can put in the chat too as well. Welcome, welcome. And just be thinking if there's any questions that you want to have addressed. Um, we'd love to answer them or you can impart your wisdom as well. So one of the things that we advocate is getting to root causes of issues because most like traditional healthcare, I wouldn't call it health care. It's more, it's sick care um, that we're just used to not doing a whole lot until we're sick. And then we go to a doctor. Um, oftentimes they'll prescribe you know, a medication or if it's some type of thing, like maybe you need surgery or maybe you need some other things. Right. And we're not really good at taking care of ourselves early on so that we can eliminate those. That's why I'm thinking 10 year plan. So if you're feeling good now, how can you keep that? What kind of things can you do to keep that? If you have some health issues, if you continue doing what you're doing, where are you going to be in 10 years with those things? Um, just keep that in mind. And so that's why the things that we share, um, they're helpful, not harmful. They're not a Band-Aid where we might be masking some symptoms while something bigger is going on. Because that's oftentimes what will happen if we take like pain medication uh, that it might not be helping with the root cause. It's helping us to relieve some pain, but it's not helping with the root cause of that pain. And if we're able to get to that root cause, then the pain can go away, right? So that's a thing that we love about more natural things. And especially with essential oils is that they help support our cells to function optimally, um, to give them some tools, some extra tools to do the things that our cells know what to do. So in this class, we mostly focus on this um, wellness pyramid, which is kind of like building a house. You want to have a really strong foundation because, you know, things might be crazy and <laughs> wind, storm, earthquakes, but it was super strong foundation. Then it can withstand a lot of different things that come up, right? And so that's nutrition and digestion for our bodies. Like if we're giving our bodies the nutrients that the, it needs, and then we're able to digest or absorb those nutrients, a lot of the things that we deal with can be eliminated or really reduced. And then moving up that, that pyramid, there's other things, lifestyle choices that we can do to help support our bodies to, to function in, in a better way and more healthy way. Um, anything to add to that before we jump into kind of the problem we have with nutrients and such? I just want to add, I think it's a really good idea, Stacey, that thought of 10 year plan, because it often takes like 10 to 15 years for illness to actually manifest in like um, clinical symptoms, right? And, and so, you know, get those healthy building blocks going and, and keep them um, healthy. And you reduce your risks greatly for that, you know, manifestation later on. So right. that's a good way to look at it. Yeah. And what I was thinking about is because I was thinking about like financially where we were when like, I'm, I'm turning 50 this year. So crazy. But where I was at 40 and some of the things that I implemented financially to be where I'm at when I'm 50 where completely debt free, have residual income, have these different things on hand and how our lives, our family's lives are so much different because there was a place, a plan in place 10 years ago, 15 years ago, right? So the same thing with our health. And that's what brought me to doTERRA. It was, I was struggling with migraines, chronic sinus infections, joint pain, low mood, like a lot of things were just manifesting. <laughs> it seemed like out of the blue, but like you're saying, they were 
they were building up, right? Like I just wasn't experiencing and I didn't know until like all of these things seemed to be popping up that a lot of my lifestyle choices were the cause of that. Lack of nutrients, um, sleep pa patterns, stress levels, like all of those things were in play. And I didn't even know, like I had no idea because we're just not taught that for the most part. And so yeah. I like to bring that up, right? Like if you're, if you have things that are manifesting now, that it's, has been building up. I mean, unless it's like a car accident injury, right? Like yes. acute thing, but most of these chronic kind yeah, of chronic have been yeah. building up. Yeah. yeah. And the, and the other thing to think about a good analogy is interest. So if you treat your health, like compounding interest, right? Your choices, healthy choices over time will compound and create that good health. Poor lifestyle choices can compound and create that deficit or debt. So yeah. Well, and it's it's interesting because I think about when you're younger, you don't need that much income to survive and have fun and you're just kind of free, whatever. And I think it's the same thing with our health when we're younger, like I can eat anything, stay up late, whatever, drink a bunch of caffeine, you know, just just and you don't realize what it's doing to you because you're not feeling it, but you start feeling it later and you're like dang I wish that I would have <laughs> but wherever we're at that's why they say like the best time to invest was like when you were young but the next best time is like right now so it's like right now investing in our health whatever that looks like and so we're going to talk about um like nutrient deficiencies huge thing and a lot of people don't care <laughs> but if you've been dealing with issues or you want to eliminate like having to deal with those later on, you will pay attention. You'll pay attention to making sure that you're getting enough nutrients. So this is just US in adults 19 and older. Most people are vitamin D deficient. And if just use your Google can be your friend and look up what are some of the signs of a vitamin D deficiency. Look up what like vitamin E does, what magnesium does, vitamin A, calcium. Like these are common things that most of us are deficient in. And so if you're thinking, oh, I wonder why I have these headaches, it could be you have a deficiency in magnesium. And if you were to up your magnesium, you get rid of the headaches versus I have a prescription now that I'm taking and feeling like I have to take that. And then I have side effects to that. And then I might take a prescription for the side effects of that. And you get in this kind of a domino of terrible things versus, oh, I wonder if, right? So it's just being aware that, like if we can take care of those foundational pieces, a lot of things will be taken care of. And if foundational nutrients aren't taking care of it, it might be like something else, right? But we can at least eliminate that off the list, right? And you'll never be worse off by getting the enough nutrients. That's why I always tell people, like you're never gonna be um, suffering because you got the nutrients that you needed, right? Where sometimes you will take a prescription or some other thing, you're like, well, sometimes there's lots of side effects, right? So you are end up being worse off. So it's just a, a, a shift in mindset. Um, I'm going to go to this one. Another thing with this is toxic load, huge problem. And I don't think that most people like pay attention to this, even though all of the information is out there. Like there's just so much public data now that we can look at as far as toxic load and the toxins that we're exposed to. So I was just on the phone yesterday with someone and she was like switching over to using a diffuser, but she really still liked her Febreze and her candles and her air wicks. And she just wanted to find some essential oils that smelled like that. Was, and, and she didn't know why people were switching over to a diffuser and essential oils and the quality of essential oils. And so we had this conversation about well, did you know that those chemicals, when it says fragrance, it can be pretty much anything and that companies don't have to test them to see if they're safe first. What happens is they can put them in these things. And then later on, if they're discovered to be a carcinogen, causing cancer, cause other problems, then they're told to take it out. It doesn't work where it has to be proven safe first when we're talking about these fragrances and other chemicals. And it's not labeled. So you might have like a... a you know, some cleaner and it doesn't have to label all of the ingredients in there. So you can even look it up to see what is in here, right? Like food labels, they have to label certain things. So your food, you're a little bit more transparent, but cleaning products, fragrances, air wicks, those things around our house, 
those are one of the most dangerous things over time. So they don't kill you like immediately, but it's that buildup over time that will cause a, a really bad experience for yourself. And so that could be also another cause for health challenges. Could be the cause of those headaches, could be the cause of like hormone imbalances, could be the cause of um, mood issues, depression, mental health is that you have toxins that have built up and your body isn't able to really take care of those like they used to. So just being aware of that. Um, and so one of the solutions to this is that people are who are aware are starting to supplement. So being able to get the nutrients into our bodies is ideal. It's hard to get it through food just because the nutrients in our food today isn't the same as it was like 50 years ago. So we'd have to consume a lot more food just to get the same amount of nutrients that like our grandparents got. And so people know this as they're doing the research. And so they will often start using supplements. Oh, I'm low in vitamin D. Okay. I'll take a supplement. I'm low in this or, you know, or I just know I should take some kind of multivitamin. And the problem is quality. So this was a study that was done and um, 776 dietary supplements were studied for what was in there. And most of them had like toxin con contaminants, right? Um, so it was in 2000, from 2007 to 2016. So that was a pretty long period of time or detected contaminants in 776 dietary supplements produced by 146 companies. And I wonder what like the data is now, like we're even more on Amazon. We're even more buying like things from China. Like we just have no idea, like what is actually in there. We don't even know if the label on the bottle is actually what, what's in there. So like with the three leading memory supplements, two of them didn't even have the active ingredient that was listed on the bottle. And so that's really what we're doing, dealing with now that we have this international economy and so many people buying things online. It's like, do we really know what's in the supplements that we're taking and just being cautious and aware of that? So that's why I do love doTERRA and their lifelong vitality supplement. It's a pack of three different vitamins because of not just the quality of the, the supplements, like the, the nutrients that are in there, and the form that they're in, they're whole foods, so our bodies recognize them, but because of the testing validation that goes behind that. So doTERRA is like a very natural company, but they're all very science company. So they're always validating, looking at the latest research, having third-party um, laboratories who test these things to make sure that there, there's no contaminants, there's no heavy metals in them, that exactly what's in there should be in there, right? And so anybody wanna share any experiences they've had with the lifelong vitality? Terry and then Faye, I saw you shaking your head. You're able to unmute. There you go. I was really surprised um, when I started taking the lifelong vitality um, supplements. And when I had, um, I started last summer and I had a bunch of lab tests in September and I could not believe how, how it had affected my labs. They were so improved. I mean, my my cholesterol levels had gone down you know my um i was i was pre-diabetic i was no longer pre-diabetic um it just made all of these differences and the only thing i had done i hadn't exercised i hadn't done anything all i had done was start to take the lifelong vitality supplements and and even my doctor was surprised when we went through all of my um, lab markers at how many, there were like 10 things that had been changed for the better. And um, they really work. I won't go without them. That's awesome. And just so people know, if you're watching the replay, Terry's a nurse, like knows like other side of things, right? Um, and has access to all of that. And so that's impressive that just that one new habit um, has changed so many things and not saying it's going to cure all, right? Like it's going to take everything away. Cause like we'll have things that come up, but starting with that foundational piece, Faye. Yeah, for me, um, and you know, I was skeptical about the nutrients. They're not high dose, right? And I'm a nutritionist. I had my supplement covered, took a lot of different things, but I was still needing a nap in the afternoon, my cognitive functioning by evening. It was like hard to really concentrate on stuff. And I just thought I was a morning person. So I started finally taking the supplements and probably within two weeks, I noticed I didn't need that afternoon nap um, or 
Starbucks or whatever caffeine, you know, and I could function like all day from, you know, 6.30 in the morning till 11 at night and actually function. So it was a huge difference. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. And you coming from like, you weren't into like traditional healthcare and then still seeing like such a shift, right? Yeah. And was taking supplements. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. I remember you telling me like, we had this cabinet with like different things and like, I don't even relate. Like we have Tylenol and ibuprofen and I don't know, Costco prenatal vitamins. <laughs> that was the extent of my cabinet. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my experience as well with lifelong vitality was within a couple of months, about six weeks or so, like my migraines went away. Uh, my sinus infections um, went away. I started having more energy, just could see like over time how that was impacting me. Um, yeah, huge. Yeah. huge shift. When, when I started taking the, um, the lifelong vitality pack, I was having a lot of joint pain and stuff like that. Um, so I started taking it and it was about, I don't know, maybe three weeks, three weeks in till I noticed that it was really reducing that joint pain. Um, and so I started using them, oh, I don't know, nine years ago or something. And about 10 years before that, I had been really, really sick and a whole bunch of my hair had fallen out as a result of that. And I got on the Lifelong Vitality and my hair came back really thick as it had been before I was sick in 2009. Um, yeah, I'm That's not awesome. letting go of that at all. <laughs> I like my hair. That I like awesome. my hair and I like getting up in the morning, not looking like Carl from the movie Up. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to feel like that anymore. Awesome. And I was beginning to feel that way. Mm -hmm. But uh yeah, it's made a huge difference. Yeah, and thinking like for our younger people who might not experience some of those things or haven't experienced those things, I what I've seen with my young adult kids and my kids as you know, they've been using them as well, the impact on their mood. Yeah, that's huge. How too. they how they manage things like the stressors in life, and that will also often be my go to when because I, I have like a ten year old that sometimes she'll get in a hood huh, and like, when was the last time you took supplements? <laughs> <laughs> and we really we give her those and I, I think the omegas in there and some of the essential oils in there like are so beneficial so just yeah. um, this is just a picture of one of my friends who had been having a reaction to an antibiotic um and they just couldn't get rid of it so the doctors were putting you know steroid cream whatever that is on and trying to do things to get rid of it and it wasn't going away at all and then she started using the lifelong vitality and the inflammation that went down, her body was able to better detoxify. So think about the toxins, not just the nutrients, but helping our bodies to function. So we can eliminate toxins that we're going to be exposed to in our cleaning products, hair care products, skincare products, in our carpet, in our clothes, whatever that is, like we're going to be exposed, but our bodies should be able to eliminate most of those um, as we're trying to reduce toxins. So I like that. And I like this clinical study. I won't spend a whole lot of times here, but this isn't just like pers people's personal experiences, but also the studies. Um, this is a 60 day trial that doTERRA had done. People didn't change anything, diet, exercise, just like Terry was saying, just we're taking this and they were seeing these same effects with blood sugar, um, blood levels, blood lipids, fasting, insulin, um, mood improvements, mental clarity. It's just, it's profound. Our bodies are just amazing what they can do if we're giving them the building blocks to do that. And then the other thing to be thinking about is, yes, we need to get the nutrients in our body, but if we're not absorbing them, then they just pass through. And so that's something to also be thinking about is um, making sure that we're supporting our, our digestive system. So two of the things that have been really impactful, and there's so much more data coming out on probiotics, prebiotics, uh, so doTERRA has just came out with a new one. It was in September. It's called PB Restore. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, but as far as understanding that we pretty much have a universe living <laughs> in us, <laughs> this symbiotic relationship with microorganisms that help break down food, help to synthesize or create vitamins, 
um, in our body, that if we don't have these in our body, then we can become depleted, that we can um, have mental health issues. We can have like energy issues. Um, and we have these microbio, the micro, micro, what are they called? Um, these little things on like all parts of our body. So like our skin in our gut, what was the picture? Like they were showing like lots of different places and we need to be repopulating and feeding those so that they can be doing the things that they need to help us. So we help them, we help, they help us, um, which is fascinating. Again, go Google it. Go. <laughs> There's so much research that has come out on this. And so taking a probiotic can help to replenish that. What's unique about doTERRA's is that it has a prebiotic. So you can see the capsule. There's like green inside, which is the probiotic. And then there's a prebiotic that helps protect and is um, kind of released in the stomach, but it helps protect from stomach acid. So the probiotic can get down into your gut, into your intestine, where that's where you want it and need it. So most probiotics that we take, you know, or eat yogurt or whatever, it's not really doing what a really good probiotic can do once it's down in your gut. And, and so that is something that can be super helpful if you feel like, Hey, maybe I, maybe I've been on antibiotics and I've killed a lot of my good bacteria. Right. And I need to repopulate. Um, maybe I'm not getting a large variety of different fruits and vegetables because most Americans, we eat like a very limited diet <laughs> and we get these from different types of, um, foods and our, we just don't have the expansion of, of different foods that would help to repopulate that. So just be thinking about that. And then also terazyme, which is a digestive enzyme. We get enzymes from food that we eat. We also produce digestive enzymes, but as we age, we produce less and less. So that's why oftentimes people, as they get older, they start having digestive issues. Um, maybe you never had acid reflux and now all you have that, you have gas and bloating and other things coming up, which you never had a problem with. It could be because of age. And so being able to supplement to help break down your food so that it can be absorbed and utilized. Um, sometimes people will experience um, like a lack of energy because they're not actually breaking down and utilizing the food that they're consuming. And so there's just so many different things with that. Anybody want to add anything with PB Assist or Terrazyme or any questions you might have? Hey, Erica, thanks for joining. Any thoughts, anything? Well, I think it's important to also emphasize that the um, PB Restore, just probiotics, aren't just for helping digest the food, but it actually is involved with our mood because of the neurotransmitter. It also is um, brain function, it, it, our immune system, so it's involved with so many different systems within the body. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. And so thinking about what we've gone through with like pandemic and stuff, um, a super helpful thing is to be using this, right? It helps your body to prepare to fight things that we're exposed to. Uh, instead of like waiting till an emergency, like we're being prepared. We're like, we have some food, we have some water, we have some extra money. Like we're prepared for emergencies, things come up. And so that PB restore is kind of like that, right? Like that we're preparing our bodies. We're giving it the things that it's going to be exposed to different things in different ways. So I yeah, appreciate you bringing that up. These are just a couple of um, people's experiences with that. So one lady lost 14 pounds, six inches from her belly. Um, by using the, was it Terrazyme? Um, and then also helping with skin. It can help clear up maybe problems that you have with your skin. So just like, there's just so many different things. And oftentimes we'll start using something and we didn't know that, oh, oh my gosh, it would do this. Like, wow, that's, that's awesome. So there's some really great side benefits um, to a lot of things that we use. Yeah, um, bone spurs which you wouldn't think the enzymes would help with that. And I've heard it even helps with broken bones. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's so many amazing things that we can, like our bodies are able to do and things we can use to support them. So I, yeah, just being able to get those things in us and know what they are and trust the company that you're using 
because that's what happens is like research will come out saying like, oh, this thing will do this. And then companies will come in and try to create that. And sometimes you get some really junky products or not even <laughs> actual things within the bottle. So just being aware of that. Um, is there anyone here that want, let's see, let's move into the essential oils. All right. Um, so we were talking about, you know, nutrition, digestion, and then we're kind of moving into oils, which can help support on many different levels, right? For me, it's kind of like the emergency kit. It's, it's great for just things that come up. It's great for just regular daily, like detox. Oh, there's just so many things. So we'll get into that. Um, but I do want, I'm going to grab the other study for next time, but this is a study done by Roseman university. And just recently Washington, I can't remember which one it was that also did a similar study of essential oil companies to see what they like, did they actually work? Cause it's kind of a fluke, right? Just some, some marketing, something. And they actually found that doTERRA oils were found to be therapeutically re relevant in cell growth and rejuvenation, metabolic health, healthy inflammatory responses. But I thought this is pretty profound that essential oils from the different competitors had minimal effects. And that's what we're seeing across the board. 80 to 90% of essential oils on the market are just, in my last video, I said crap. Just crap. <laughs> They're either synthetic, diluted, contaminated in some way. Um, it's a poor quality of plant. It was like, if you get pure, potent essential oils from the plants and know how to use them, there's some pretty miraculous things that they can do to support us. So that's also why I love doTERRA. Um, and so I was telling you about, a lady had asked about organic. She's like, she's really big on organic. And so that's why she's having a hard time purchasing doTERRA because they're not labeled organic. And so I just want to address this real fast for people who um, want organic. And the reason why you do is there's certain practices that people who are growing food or growing products that they do that they, in order to be certified organic in the United States, there's certain standards that they have to meet. And then there's people who actually go and check on those to make sure that they're meeting those requirements so that they can, and then they pay their money so that they can get that stamp that says this is certified U.S. organic, right? Because people are looking for organic. So yes, we want that. However, the the challenge with this outside of the United States is that it doesn't work quite like that. So a lot of these countries, especially developing countries, to get that organic seal, they just have to pay money to the government. There's not a lot of checking in to see that they're actually following any types of practices. So you can have an essential oil, say um, like an oil that's produced in India, and they've paid this, you know, the growers or whoever has paid the government for their organic seal, that does not guarantee what's in the bottle is organic, meaning no pesticides, herbicides. It doesn't mean that it's pure. It doesn't mean that it's potent, right? So organic, maybe in the United States, even then I, I, I question some of the, the practices as far as um, is it really organic? Because you could be growing something organic, it gets on some type of truck, it gets contaminated with chemicals from other places, right? It's distilled, it's in your bottle. Yet the people growing it, like they follow the practices and it has an organic seal on it. So that's why to me, it doesn't mean a whole lot. What I prefer, and this is what doTERRA does, is that they test every single batch of oil with 54 different tests before it's bottled so that you know what's in there is exactly what should be in there, right? No, no other company does that. So they require that they grow things organically. There's no pesticides, herbicides, whatever, but then they validate that through third-party testing to say like, oh, you followed that. And it shows in the oil quality that not only is it potent, it's pure, right? So that's why I just wanna address that is that when you see any of these bottles of doTERRA, you can scan, well, you actually put in this number on source you.org and it will pull up the actual test that was done by third-party labs called um, Aromatic Plant Research Center that did on that bottle. And it will show you like the actual chemical constituents that are in that bottle. So to me, that's more, I have more confidence in that than I do just a label that says organic on it. So any plus, questions you add? Plus, 
organic, sure, maybe purity, but it doesn't say anything about the chemical composition, which is really important, right? And also it doesn't say anything about the consistency from batch to batch. So there's more than just, I mean, that is important not to have contaminants, but to actually get that therapeutic effect, we have to look at all three. Right. And, and most companies who sell essential oils, they don't know this, that, like that's not their thing. They've added oils on here or there. Right. Um, or if they are just in the U S a company in the U S the difficulty is sourcing oils that have the potency that we're looking for. Right. And so that's where doTERRA will go to these de developing countries to find where these grow and produce a therapeutic quality essential oil, not just like lavender here in Utah off the side of the road that like, yeah, it smells like lavender, but is it going to do the same thing as the lavender that has been growing in like France or somewhere, right? Because of the high altitude, because of the different um, climate and soil conditions that are there. And so they test that, they know this, they know it's not the same, right? Even if it was like you're saying pure, that the chemical constituents in the different levels will not give you the same impact, so. Um, so that basically that it also addresses safety issues that if you're using certified pure tested grade, that you don't have to worry about those contaminants, fillers. Um, and this was just a little girl that had some different oil, lavender oil, a couple of girls, sisters, her grandma put some lavender oil on them and it gave them a chemical burn. Um, and so I'm not saying that's going to happen with all oils, but you have to be aware if you have a bottle of lavender and it says not for internal use, right there is like that trigger. This is not lavender because pure lavender essential oil is consumable. And so if you have oils in your home or whatever, you know people who have them and it says that, like lemon oil, like we can take it internally if it's pure. It's just from the rind of the, <laughs> the lemon, right? Um, so if it says not for internal use, what it is, you have a synthetic that was made in a laboratory. It's probably meant to be put in pledge, you know, that dust spray thing. <laughs> You know, so, yeah, that's what I think of when I'm like, oh gosh, yeah, we can't consume that. Okay. So, and people are coming to doTERRA because they're affordable and you might think, well, they're more expensive. Yes. They're more expensive per bottle than some of the cheap ones, but you actually get more. What I mean is like, there was a study done of peppermint from Costco and the bottle only contained 10%. So you would need 10% bottles of Costco peppermint to equal one bottle of doTERRA's peppermint, right? And then when you add that up, it's way more expensive. Plus you're like, what else am I getting, right? So cost per drop is really low. We use usually one to three drops would be a dose. So depending on the oil, um, you know, you really just don't use that much. And these bottles, the bigger bottles, there's about 250 drops in that. I mean, so it's teeny. This one has about a hundred drops, but there's a lot of power in that bottle. Okay. So let's move. Anybody have any questions as far as like what to use for what or go ahead, Terry. Well, I just wanted to say um, the article, I, I can't remember who posted it uh, with um, Dr. Oscar Thorpe, who has worked um, in pediatrics forever. And he was saying, how um, it's the University of Mississippi. Or was it Mississippi? Had... I thought I was thinking it was Washington. This is the one that was... <laughs> she'll tell you. Yeah. Anyway, um, there are a lot of places that want to test the therapeutic effects of essential oils. And so they were looking for a company. And when they saw what doTERRA was doing as far as consistency and the purity and the potency they said, can we, can we work with you to, so that we can do these tests to see how they um, work on different, you know, different ailments and different, you know, diseases and stuff. And, and of course, doTERRA was thrilled, but because doTERRA is the only company that where they are consistent, they are um, potent and they are pure and no one and no other company can make that. And so I thought that was really a fascinating article that um, they had chosen doTERRA to do these this research, um, scientific research, um, to see the efficacy of the essential oils and see how they related to 
um, different, you know, things that with our bodies. And um, I just thought that was extremely powerful. I, I have the greatest respect for Dr. Elska Thorpe um, because of his background. And you can Google it. <laughs> and then read the little fine print, you know, like follow, follow the, follow it. Um, yeah. yeah. Which is interesting because years ago, like when Faye and I first started using him, Debbie probably as well. Um, there were a lot of studies that were out there that were kind of contradicting what our experience was with essential oils. So there was like a study done and people were worried that lavender was um, making boys grow breasts. So there, it was having some impact there. You know, so like people were afraid, like, I don't want to be giving my kid, you know, lavender. What? Right. But then when they, they dove into the quality of the lavender that they were using, right? Because when they were doing these, there wasn't the quality standards that we have like at doTERRA. So they were like, oh, lavender's lavender. But have you know, if you're using some product like that, maybe it will help you grow breasts. Maybe us women should <laughs> take that, that chemical they were using. But when they use pure and potent lavender, it does not do that. They, they actually went back and found that there was a contaminant in it that was uh, mimicking hormones. Yeah. Ah. It wasn't the lavender oil, but it was something that they put in with the lavender oil that was. Doing that's, that's just kind of speaks with like Terry and, and this, like this university who's wanting and seeing that there's quality difference, right? Like we're needing to get the quality right to be able to do valid testing. Right. Yes. So, appreciate that. Can I, can I just want to add one little thing here? Maybe this is a good place to add it. Um, we're living in an age of massive disinformation. And we already know how much companies looking to make money will do you know unscrupulous things just to make more money. And that's what a lot of these, you know, Johnny come lately companies in essential oils are doing is just trying to, you know, to capitalize off of the interest that literally doTERRA has created. And um, I think that if you're a discerning person, you have to look at how long this company has been around, what it's accomplished in the short time it's been around, how many people are using the products and let that speak for itself. And because you know, we know we trust the product, we trust the company, and we're talking about our health here. So, um, you know, you just don't go taking any anything and everything when it's your health is on the line and you've got all these companies that, you know, you can't afford to fight them if they put something in a product that, that damages you. Right. So um, I think the proof is in how many people have been using these products for so long and um no lot no you know major lawsuits or anything right. like that with doTERRA yeah. Yeah. so you have to learn to trust the company that you're dealing with because there's so many other companies out there and so that's i think you know if, if anybody gets anything else out of this it's that there are millions of people around the world that trust this company with their health and that's a huge recommendation i think yeah and what's interesting is yes doTERRA is a network marketing company and most of the people who are members of doTERRA are customers, right? Like 80 to 90% are customers. They are purchasing the, the product. 60 to 70% of people are making regular purchases. Why? Because they're seeing a difference. They're not right. buying it because they're part of like a, a business in any sense, right? They are just seeing value. And even in these countries that are developing countries where their incomes are low, like we are growing like mad in Mexico and in India and all like around the world, the Philippines, where they're seeing the value of this. They're seeing how this is impacting their health, how it's helping them to uh, avoid stuff because a lot of these, they don't have health care like we do, which now I, I don't like, if you're in an emergency, this is a blessed place to be, but healthcare, not so. Um, yeah. So thanks for bringing that up. That, that trust is huge and important. So as far as just different things that we can use, is there anything specific that um, anybody has like questions about? I mean, I can, I don't know, is it Nikki? Welcome. Um, if you have any questions, anybody else, any questions like, hey, what would you do for this? I'll just kind of run through a couple of things real fast. Deep Blue is probably 
one of the most popular products that people don't even know comes from doTERRA <laughs> because there's like professional sports teams, college athletes. Uh, we were just doing a, an event at a college and we had that out and there were so many like, oh, I have that. I have that in the locker. I play volleyball. I do this. Like, oh yeah. And they didn't even know that it was from doTERRA, even though it says doTERRA on there. So this is amazing for pain, inflammation. It's a bottle of, it's like a five milliliter bottle of deep blue oil, which is a blend of oils and it's mixed in a, a lotion form. So then you rub it on and it feels phenomenal. So that's kind of our, our go-to for that, the pain aches, you know, in your joints, muscles, um, there's stuff that's great for your mood and emotional support. So lavender is great for that. Balance is a, a very grounding blend. Think like spruce tree that you're out in the forest. That's what it smells like. It's kind of grounding. And so you can put that in your diffuser and just have that going and like immediately impacted on how you feel emotionally. My daughter used to throw temper tantrums. Um, most of you know, like she would hit her head on the tile and she had like this big unicorn that didn't go away. And we found like, if she got to that point where she's like not able to control her emotions, we had a blend that we would just put on her. And within minutes, like she was back in control. So there's oils we can use for emotional support. There's oils that we use for immune support. So On Guard is, so Lifelong Vitality, the supplements we talked about, number one product in doTERRA. The second product is On Guard. And it's the number one oil, but it's the second uh, most popular product. And so this is that immune support, sore throats, cold flu, cough, um, great there. Frankincense is another one, great oil to help support your immune system. But it's also great for regenerating skin, scars, inflammation, uh, lots of great things for that. Um, I'm just kind of highlighting a few of these here. Medicine cabinet basics, you'll probably want to have on hand, peppermint, lavender, tangerine, or lemon. Um, great detoxifiers, great for just stuff comes up. You get a rash, you get a burn, you get a bee sting, uh, sleep issues, lavender's awesome, peppermint, great for energy. Just breathe that. When we're when we were doing a lot of classes in person, we just pass around the peppermint and boof. People are like, awake, alert. Oh, yeah. you can't do that through Zoom. But yeah. that's what it does. Yeah, <laughs> right. We need 4D Zoom. Yeah, right. That would be cool. <laughs> Push a little button and it goes out to you guys. Yeah. All right. So anyone have any questions or things like maybe yeah. new or things issue? Come up yeah. or new things you've discovered? Like, oh, I love this. It does this. I'm trying to think for me. I have can I can I can I, um, can I tell a little story? Yeah. Story time. Okay, think about what you might want to ask questions about while we tell the story. Um, so uh, some of you know, we were in a, a pretty horrific car accident um, a few days ago. And, um, you know, we're running around and the paramedics are there and the, the um, uh, fire department's there. High patrol. patrol, the whole the whole thing, you know, they're all there, right? So one of the firefighters though came over and I just happened to be wearing a doTERRA hat. And it was just bizarre that, you know, we were able to walk away from a car that was totaled. And the guy said, oh, well, that's because you used doTERRA. <laughs> and it was like, you know, 10 years ago, we started with this. There's no way anybody would have ever known what doTERRA was, much less a firefighter from a paramedics uh, unit. And he literally was like saying, oh yeah, yes, you use Oterra, so that's probably why you're okay. Oh, yeah. I was that's like, funny yeah, that he knew how to so say it right, right? We <laughs> immediately bonded over the fact that, you know, he knew what Oterra was and I figured his wife probably was, you know, very much using Oterra in their family, but he was like all about it. And it was really cool to uh, to have that happen. You know, here we are in a crisis, but we're like laughing about the fact that everybody's using doTERRA. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, because before, yeah, nobody knew the name, but it is, it's growing, growing like mad. Um, so as kind of wrap up, we're going to do a, a giveaway at the end for all y'all who are on. Um, let's see. The oils that I just kind of went through quickly and the lifelong vitality, the 
QB store, the Terrazyme, they all do come in a kit. It's called the Healthy Habits Kit. Just know that that's available, whether you already have a membership with Oterra or not, that that's something there. And I think all of you have memberships, but just know that you can share, whether you're a wellness advocate or a wholesale customer, you're able to share with other people. Um, so I was on a phone call with someone earlier today and she loves Deep Blue, was going to get her own membership, but she's on a fixed income. She's like, I don't have a whole lot. But she was talking about all these people who she like knows they need this and they suffer from this. I'm like, well, once you get your own wholesale account, you can get the 25% off, which is she gets the wholesale price. But she also gets a little link. I'm like, you just send that to your friend. Like if they want to get, you know, Deep Blue or some oil, they can get it through you. They get the discounted price, 25% off, a free membership with doTERRA, which is normally $35. And you get a product credit and that can help pay for your oils. So just know you have that available to you. Um, and they also, if they enroll with 150 PV point value, they get a free, not this diffuser, but they get a free, am I even sharing my screen? I'm not sharing my screen. Hold on. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Where are we at? So normally it's this um, pebble diffuser, but this month you get one of these and you can't even buy it. Let's see. I think it mine might be dead because I was using it, but it shoots out oil. It's, the, it's not this color. It's gray, but you get a free one of these. I love these in the bathroom. So if someone walks in, it goes yeah. <laughs> and it makes your bathroom smell much more pleasant and you don't have to worry about some toxic chemical spray or something. Um, and also with that healthy habits kit that there is a tracker. So if you want to do, it's like a kind of a 30 day thing as you're getting the habits of taking long, long, long vitality and the other supplements that are in there, helping with stress and sleep and getting your movement in that there is a tracker that goes along with, with that. Um, and for any of your friends that enroll this month, they get, it's called the healthy 100. So then if next month they do an order of 100 PV on a loyalty rewards order, then in March they get 100 PV credit onto their account. So basically $100 in oils for free. So just know that's also available. Okay, so we're going to do a giveaway here. Um, if you want to fill out this, uh, should we do the survey? Let's just do a, a random, a random dot org. <laughs> Stop sharing. And what I have today is cinnamon bark. Cinnamon's going to be on sale next tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, ten percent off cinnamon. Um, any favorite uses for cinnamon for those who have used it? I'll share um, a couple of mine. I love it as a su a sugar substitute. It makes things taste sweeter. So if you put things like it can be in your water, it can be in like can be oatmeal or something like that. It makes it is like sugar. <laughs> Tastes yeah. awesome. I love it. Anyone else? See? It'll. I, I love it in my oatmeal. Mm -hmm. yep. Oatmeal, oatmeal here. Talk about how about hot chocolate? If you ever hot like chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. good in that too. Mm -hmm. And it helps with blood sugar regulation. Exactly. So great for metabolic health. Um, it, it's good in coffee too, but I don't drink coffee anymore. So. <laughs> there you go. So if you do coffee. Um, <laughs> It can help curb cravings. It's mm -hmm. also numbing. It's kind of like uh, like uh, clove is numbing. This is numbing. So if you have like a tooth something yes. mm -hmm. for that, it just smells yummy. Yeah. yeah. So this is the giveaway. All right. Let's do five. Number five, random.org. Dun, dun, dun. And I'll share my screen so you can see it. Not a hundred of us, five, five, one, two, <laughs> four. We'll call Joel six, seven. Wait, how many? One? You know, I was counting myself. One, two, three. But there's somebody online. Is there anybody on Zoom on the Facebook? They haven't really posted anything. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. Here we go. Doom, doom, doom. And then I'm just going to go down my screen on my screen. I don't know what yours looks like. Number three, that's one, two, Faye, three. <laughs> <Yay. 
it's me. It's, oh, yeah, you. more would be you, Joel. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm the one who used the cinnamon bark the most. So I'm oh, well, you can it. snag it. <laughs> no problem. Yay. Thank you. All right. Yep. You're welcome. Any questions or things before we go somewhere else, travel? But I do want to mention that 10 year plan. If you jumped in later, like 10 year plan financially, Potera is a great place to create extra income and residual income. This is something that I started about 13 ish years ago. And I'm glad I did back then because it's kind of like you're saying with, you know, saving and interest and starting right now to create a residual income, something that would be not tied to like a job or working hours, right. Um, that you can get paid over and over and over again, that everyone should be looking for that. And we're seeing that in the economy right now, especially with um, inflation. Like even though you might have a good job, it may not be secure. Who knows if you get laid off. Also with prices going up, you could be making the same amount, but everything's costing more, right? So you feel like you're kind of getting pinched or squeezed. Um, housing prices, energy prices, food prices, everything's going up. And so everyone should have multiple streams of income. And so this is an opportunity that you can be a part of. Um, and if you're interested in just even learning more about that, just make sure you get back to the person who you're connected with in doTERRA. And they can, uh, th there's a video that you can watch that explains more about what we do, how to create income, um, and would love to help support you in that if that's something that you kind of feel called to. All right. Well, we're going to take off. Nice love to see you, everybody. Yeah, nice seeing everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Take care.